Hello everyone, welcome to Opportunities Circle, the number one opportunities discovering platform. This time we are going to tell you how to apply for an OIST fully funded internship in Japan. Applications are now open to apply for the fully funded OIST internship in Japan. Since this internship is fully funded, therefore all the costs will be covered, including accommodation and travel. The duration of this internship will be between 2 and 6 months, usually 10 to 12 weeks. Students from all over the world are eligible to apply for the internship program in Japan. This is one of the best international internships for students to gain practical experiences and technical skills. All those students enrolled in an undergraduate program at any university or college are eligible to apply. The recent graduates of such institutions are also eligible to apply. All the students that are currently enrolled must have the approval from their home institution. And the students enrolled in the undergraduate program third and fourth year and those of master's first and second year are encouraged to apply for this internship. This fully funded research internship provides the participant with the benefit of round trip tickets, visa support, accommodation on or off campus. In addition, interns will receive support, displacement and the stipend as well. These are the available research fields for this internship. You can go through them. Click on the link given in the description section of this video to apply for the fully funded OIST internship in Japan. It will take you to this web page. Scroll down to go through all the details related to this internship and proceed towards the application process section and click on apply now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for daily updates and new videos. Don't forget to join the official groups of Opportunity Circle on WhatsApp and Telegram and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates and new opportunities. Clicking on apply now will take you to the official site of OIST admissions. All the details related to the internship has been shared on this page. You can go through it and then scroll down and click on apply. By clicking on apply, this page will open for you. Here you can see four sections. The first one is of application procedure, second is of eligibility, third is of application deadline, and the fourth one is of required application materials. It is very important to open all these sections and read through them carefully. In the first one, you can read the application procedure. In the second section, it is very important to go through the eligibility criteria for this internship. In the third section, you can see the period of internship, application deadline, and result announcement dates. In the last section, you can see the required documents for this internship. Scroll down and here to start your application process, click on application form. When you click on application form, this web page will open for you. Click on create new account. To register yourself, you need to provide your email address, first name, last name, then check this box and click on create new account. Then you have to check your mailbox and click on the link given there to activate your account. Then you will get this box saying that this is a one-time login and you have to change your password that can be used only once. After logging in, it welcomes you to this web page. Here you have to put your email address, password, then you have to confirm your password, then you have to upload your picture, then your first name and last name and then click on save. After saving that information, the dashboard will open for you. To apply for the research internship, click on Apply for Research Internship. Before you start your application, it is very important to provide at least one reference letter. Otherwise, you will not be able to submit your application. Click on Add New Referee. If you want to give any personal message to the referee, you can type it here. And then you have to provide the personal information of the referee. Write the prefix here, the first name of the referee, the last name, name of the organization, position and title of the referee, the relationship with the candidate, telephone number, email address, and then select this and send the email address to the referee. It is advised to ask your referee to submit the letter at least few days prior to the deadline date and give enough time to your referee to provide the recommendation letter. That is why it is best to add the referee information in the beginning of your application and then you can fill out all the other sections. Meanwhile, your referee provides the recommendation letter because if you don't provide at least one recommendation letter, you will not be able to submit your application form. 
After providing the referee information, you can proceed towards the other sections of this application form. Click on Start Edit Application. Now here you can see all the sections of this application on the left side. The, in the first section, you have to read these statements and then select this and click on Save. Again, you'll be back to this web page. Now you have to click on basic information. In the section of basic information, you have to provide all the mandatory details. Provide your first name, your family name that is printed in your passport. Select the gender, your date of birth, your citizenship. Save this information by clicking on save. In the next section of permanent address, select the country, write your address, put the name of your city, put the name of your region and write the postal code. In the next section of supporting information, you have to write an essay of no more than 2500 characters and you have to write the statement of purpose in English language where you have to tell about your desired research unit, your skills and what do you hope to accomplish at OIST and how does a research internship at OIST fit into your overall career plans. Then you have to upload your CV, then upload your photo. Please do read the given instructions. Upload your ID card or the certificate of registration and please select if you have any financial support from the third party. In the education history, you have to write the name of your institution, select the country, write the name of your city and region, then put the starting date and the ending date. For the level of study, select the level of study, whether it's bachelor's or master's, then upload the diploma, upload the transcript, select the language of education, put the major here, Put your GPA score here and the GPA scale here. GPA scale means that the maximum GPA. If you got any honors, awards, fellowships and scholarships, you can provide the details here. If you have taken any workshops or non-degree studies, internships or exchange programs, you can provide the information of those non-degree studies and careers here and by providing the name of the organization, by selecting the country, putting the name of city and region, and the dates when that internship or exchange program or the workshop or the training has been started and when it ended. Write down the position and write down the description. You also have to upload the supporting document. Since this is a research internship, so this section of area of scientific research is very important where you have to select your core field and then you have to select your minor field of research. Afterwards, you have to select faculty for your research project. You can see the names of all the professors here. In this section of duration of your visit, you have to select the dates of your internship. In the next section of showing your interest in OIST, if you're interested in the OIST PhD program, then click on yes, otherwise click on no. If you wish to be kept informed of OIST news, click on yes. If you don't get selected for the research internship program and if you would like to share your information with other divisions at OIST, then click on yes, otherwise click on no. In this section of travel information, first of all, you have to provide your passport number, then select the file of passport photo. If you hold a Japanese visa, click on yes, otherwise click on no. Write the name of your nearest major airport and the embassy location. In the last section of relationship with OIST, you have to tell that how did you hear about OIST and then you have to provide further information on how you found out about OIST. And if you have ever attended OIST sponsored events or programs, then you can also tell about them. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that this video is helpful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family.